A few weeks ago, I had smashed a picture frame hanging on my bedroom wall. I threw a screwdriver at it. I can't quite remember why I threw it, but I remember that I did it. Probably mad at your grandpa Rick for making him pass it, eh Morty? The glass smashed and fell to the floor along with the frame itself. There were some clothes underneath, clothes which were used to gather the broken glass and subsequently thrown out. Fast forward to the day before yesterday. I'm sat at the PC, and like any self-respecting member of society, I decided to play with the member of my pants. Oh. It was a flippant decision, one I took on board with enthusiasm, due to the urge not striking me very often because of my medication. I'm reaching the vinegar strokes, and things are looking good. As good as things can look through the squinted eyes of a man succumbing to his base urges. Not everyone is like you, no. By the way, yeah, no. I suddenly realize that I have nothing to catch my maybe babies. My god, are you proud of this? Fucking homo. One hand fumbles for something while the other fumbles my ding dong. I feel fabric and I snatch it up. It's an old t-shirt. One I'm happy to discard after the deed is done. It feels great. I catch the result with the precision of a cat snatching a housefly. Now comes cleanup time. Let's not kid ourselves, we know how this ends. My thoughts turn from post-fumbling bliss to pure horror as I drag shards of broken glass across the tip of my tender doodle. It took me a second to realize what had happened. The fact that things are still super sensitive down there, coupled with the glass being razor sharp, means that I don't quite notice until one complete wipe. Yes, there was blood. Yes, there was mental scarring. It's healing nicely, which is good. Too long didn't read? I almost gave myself a penectomy. You scraped your fucking cock with shards of broken glass. Get the fuck over yourself. Oh, the top comment is a is a story, and it says throwaway, and it's been gilded twice. This ought to be good. Ah, the top comment reads as follows. The only time I intentionally put sharp objects near my wang dilly bang bang is when I did literally give myself surgery. I didn't cut it into my shaft, but my balls. I never could afford fancy things like medical coverage, I'm American, so when I need surgery, I do it myself. Thanks, YouTube. When I was about 17, I started developing white bumps on my scrotum, about the size of a pencil eraser. What the fuck? Well, I thought my girlfriend was whoring around, unrelated, but she was, and I caught something from her, so I went to a free clinic. After getting tested for every STD known to man, Q-tip in dick hole and all, they looked at my balls and told me it wasn't an STD, it was a sebaceous cysts. There were four of them at the time. Well, fast forward 15 years and there were more, about 10. And these would come and stick around for a few years and sometimes disappear, so I decided it was time to take my balls into my own hands and start getting blowjobs with the lights on again. I found some instructional videos on YouTube on how to remove a cyst. Not pleasant. Don't look it up. I discovered the incision had to be larger. There were sacks in there that had to be removed fully, not just drained. I popped four Advil and covered my nuts with rubbing alcohol and cut in using a razor <laughs> to cut in and get to the base. I used a nail clipper. Yes, it hurt very, 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 very much. I managed to remove all ten. Took me over four hours since I had to take a few breaks to avoid passing out. The incisions were small, so I didn't need stitches. Plus, I didn't want to try sewing my testicles. Oh, God. I, oh, 
I held wet paper towels on my nuts for 24 hours until I stopped bleeding. <laughs> yes. Yes, dude. Healing took a few weeks, and it was painful to walk over a few days, but as long as I kept my balls clean, <laughs> it was all good. It's been a few years since then, and they fully healed. Two came back. I guess I didn't fully nail clip the sacks out. I may try again to get the last two out. Someday. For now, I'm just happy to have cut enough to feel confident with a girl touching my balls. And not thinking I have gonorrhea or some shit. Well, I guess that's enough Reddit for today. <laughs> <laughs>